My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, it's better than yours, I can teach you, but I'll have to charge. This is SEO Agency News. Google Local are now surfacing keywords inside the map pack. What this means is that they're looking at your website, pulling out the keywords that relate to the query and actually putting them inside the search result, inside the maps. So if your business says Jimmy's used cars and on your page it says used cars for sale, it's likely that they're gonna start to surface those keywords in the map pack. This is good for a couple of reasons. So it gives a little bit more context to the user about what your site's about. And it's gonna help you get that all important click through and ultimately drive more traffic via local results. Exciting birthday news, Google is 19 this week. When I heard this news, I was like so surprised because how young is the internet that Google is only 19? Funny story, I actually started in search when I was 19 years old. I started a company called the We Internet Company and I had some banging Photoshop skills like this picture. And believe it or not, people actually bought things from me. Probably cause they thought I was a girl, but hey, I'll take it. Next up, there's been murmurs of the algorithm massively changing with a lot of webmasters complaining that they've seen huge ranking fluctuations. Barry Schwartz reported on this on Search Engine Roundtable and he's pulling out a bunch of comments from webmasters and I just get really surprised when I see people complaining about ranking fluctuations. So this particular guy said that his business has been massively affected because a keyword has moved from position two to position five. Here's the deal, if your business is affected by one keyword movement, you've got a shit business. Or at least the strategy is completely wrong. When it comes to organic search, we need to stop being so myopic about looking at this individual ranking over here and putting all of our time and effort into a single keyword because as this webmaster has seen, it makes you so, so vulnerable to these algorithm movements. So what should you do? Well, ultimately, you should be looking at broader organic traffic instead of a single keyword, making sure you're doing your keyword research, not just for big transactional terms, but things a little bit higher up the funnel. So those kind of conversational, kind of blog post-esque keywords that maybe don't have any power to actually drive revenue, but they get that initial click onto the site, they get the brand introduced to the new customer, and then that's someone you can potentially retarget through your Facebook ads or retarget through AdWords, or maybe even be biased in organic search because you've already been in that person's click funnel. AMP pages seem to be completely taking over. A new study has been released by Rank Tracking Tool and lamest Power Ranger, Rank Ranger, and it shows that in the USA, 17% increase in all AMP pages served via mobile. And it's not just America. In the UK, it's up 14%, and in France, it's up 30%. Now, I know we've all got very mixed feelings about AMP. A lot of people don't like it because they see Google having more of a land grab because we're hosting content on their site. But it looks like one of those scenarios where if you want the traffic, you just gotta do it. Next up, something from the community. So this time around 2009, so a good few years ago, there was murmurs around the community of Google looking at every single website in Search Console, and if one of them was spammy or deemed as bad, what they were doing was torching the entire Search Console. So if you had 10 sites in there, one of which was a bit spammy, they were just killing the lot. So this came up again with a conversation with Google engineer and most powerful Pokemon, John Mew. Now John said that if the websites are not connected and they're not showing any other spam signals, then no, they're not gonna torch absolutely everything. But as we know, Google always talk in riddles. And if we were to read between the lines of what John said, then yes, absolutely. If you've got one website in Search Console that's spammy, it makes sense that they then go and analyze the rest of them and just start burning out anything that looks remotely manipulative. As always, don't spam, it's 2017. And even if you are one of those churn and burn SEO guys, what are you doing putting Search Console on your site in the first place? And lastly, something else from the community. Moz has just released a learning center for new SEOs. As everyone knows, I've got a massive SEO man crush on Rand Fishkin and generally anything that happens over at the Mozplex. So I welcome all of this new learning stuff. 
especially for new SEOs. That's definitely where I cut my teeth and got a lot of my early information back when I was the tender age of 19. If you found this interesting, please tag one of your colleagues in the comments. If you'd like to troll me or send any complaints, please direct them to at Artavs. Until then, I'll see you next week. Bye. What was my shit joke for that again? <laughs>